Kathy here at Creating a Simpler Life, and today I want to show you how I crochet this preschool size hat. It's a really easy hat to make. It can totally be completed in half an hour, and I'll prove that in this video. The adult's hats take under an hour, and it, again, it depends on how fast you crochet, but I had an outpouring of appreciation for my adult hat video, and I thank everybody that has supported me in that video. And a lot of people requested that they wanted to know how to do so for a child. So what I've done is I've created three hats for children. And this small one here is 18 chains for the height and 26 rows. And this fits infants. This middle size one is 20 chain stitches and 26 rows around. So it's really the same width, just a longer hat. And then this is what I call my, um, I guess, elementary school hat. So once they're out of preschool and they get a little bit bigger, they might need a wider hat. So this is 22 chains and 28 rows. 28 rows is also used for a small adult hat. The adult hats are generally 25 chains and 28 rows. The rows has to stay even in order for this to be one continuous piece of yarn all the way through. I'm going to show you exactly how I made this one today. I've made these hats for adults. These are adult size hats. I'll link to the video up there. And I love to give them as gifts and pair them up with a nice a uh, little pair of these one-size-fits-all gloves. And I'm going to make a preschool size hat that comes in between these two sizes today. So they require this Bernat Blanket yarn, which is machine wash and dry. Very, very soft, very warm. Crochets up nicely with a nine millimeter crochet hook. Small pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and you could buy these pom-poms on Amazon. They come in a big bag, or you could buy them indiv individually. You can choose not to put a pom-pom on at all. We're gonna start with about a six inch to an eight inch tail. Make our starting loop. And chain 20. That's 20. And just to show you what this is going to take me to make, it is currently 8-16, Saturday, November 16th. So now I'm just going to skip one stitch and single crochet in each chain across for a total of 19. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. And now we're going to crochet, single crochet, but in the back loop only, and I'll just show you that quickly. If we look at this, a regular chain has two, right? A regular stitch has two yarns. We're going to only go in the back one. So we're not gonna do two, but we're gonna go only in the back one, and that's gonna give us our ribbed look. So every stitch across is only going in the back part of the stitch. And you do get used to it after a while. It becomes much easier to do it without thinking. Okay, at the end of the row, chain one, turn around, and just continue in the back loop for a total of 26 rows. Now again, it depends on how loosely or tightly that you crochet. I'm a fairly loose crocheter, so if you seem or tend to crochet very tight, you might need to add chains or rows. I'm not a professional crocheter. This is not a professional crochet channel. This is a homesteading channel called Creating a Simpler Life. And basically everything we do, we try to keep as simple as possible, which is why I love this hat. I made this up myself to make it as simple as I could. I like things to look simple and be simple. I also don't like when I have to weave in all the little ends and then they come out and they're a pain in the neck or the yarn starts to unravel after you make a project. I wanted to make this so that it was simple and long lasting. 
and serve the purpose of being warm because the Adirondack winters are quite cold. I'm trying to rush so I can go visit my great nephew and try these hats on him. This color yarn makes it a little hard to see the stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 rows, and 833. So I've only been crocheting for 17 minutes, if I did my math right. So literally, this child's hat could take me under half an hour. Twenty-two. I'm at 23. I have three more rows. Okay, I think that's 26. So let's just double check. One, two, three, four, 25, 26 rows. And time is 8.39. Wow, that's less than a half an hour to crochet this part. And all I have left to do is sew it and put the pom-pom on. But before we do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to cut a two foot tail with the scissors and just pull that tail through your final loop to create a knot. I'm gonna now shut the camera off for a second and reposition myself at the table so I could show you a measurement with the tape measure. So give me two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay, so just to point out a few things, notice that the ends are on opposite sides. That's important for our next step. And I just wanna show you with the tape measure, this hat currently measures 17 inches by about nine and three quarter inches. I'm now going to take my yarn needle and the long end, and this is just gonna be folded over, and I am just going to just do an overhand stitch, nice and loose, from one end to the other through only two loops. This is what I mean that it takes only one length of yarn. Now we get to this end, where the other end was, and I'm just gonna take the two ends and knot them together, just to have a little bit more security, that it's nice and strong and isn't going to unravel or fall apart. Now, I'm going to take this end again, and I'm going to loosely stitch around the top to cinch it tight. So, I'm going to just do the high parts to pull. Okay, see how this has like a little ridge here? This is a high part. I'm just going to go into the high part and pull it. And again, into the high part and pull it. This is so that we could pull it together at the top of the hat. And I should be just about back there. Yeah, here's my other end. And now I'm gonna just pull really tight. So once we get to the end, I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to tie a knot again a couple times. And here's my pom-pom. And actually I should have just left this on. Let me just put this on again, I forgot. They have like a little elastic loop, which makes it super easy. So if I just take this, you see this little elastic loop, I'm pulling it out here. I'm just gonna put this right through the elastic loop. Super easy again. And I'm just gonna tie this in a knot again to tie the pom-pom on. I'm gonna put these through to the inside of the hat, right through the top. And once I get in there, just weave it around a little bit and then I'm gonna snip it off. And then I'll do the same for the other one. So just in and out a few times. And that's it, snip. You could even do another little tie on the inside once you weave in and snip the end. We have a beautiful little hat. And the time is, we started at 8.16, it is now 8.53, and we have a completed hat. So we now have a small, a medium, and a large children's hat. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.